I live in the Fairfax district, which is pretty close to the corner of Fairfax and Melrose, not far from West Hollywood, I decided to build an ADU shortly after purchasing my home, which was my first home. And the garage in the backyard was not habitable. The foundation was falling apart and I knew that I wanted to make the space into something that I could utilize. Started to do my research and it was actually an LA Times article that I first read and then ended up finding my architect. My name is Bo Sundias. I'm an architect and my partner and I run um, an architecture office called Bunch Design. So if you're thinking of building an ADU, here's a few things that you should consider. Do you have enough room for the ADU? There's certain minimum square footage to a house. The smallest one that we've built is a studio. It's 300 square feet. If you are renting your ADU, for instance, you might want to create a private space for that renter to use as a backyard while also still maintaining your own sense of backyard. My initial intention was I wanted to provide housing. My sister and her boyfriend live here and I think it's kind of the best of both worlds of I'm living with her but not in the same building as her. <laughs> So this is an ADU that we built for our client, Bridget. This is a garage conversion. It's a one bedroom, one bath um, ADU. With this design, we have uh, clear story windows all the way around. So the, the house really feels more like a, a framework. Like here at the corner, you know, two windows come across. It's hard to really read the space as being small when there's so much openness. This ADU is only 500 square feet. So one thing that we do with these smaller spaces is to eliminate a wall. For instance, this is the out exterior wall of the living room, but we've essentially perceptively eliminated it by putting in this large bifold. So that not only does the room perceptively extend into the yard, but if you're entertaining or having a good time, it literally can extend into the yard. This space feels large because this window soars right over the media center and into the bedroom. One thing that was important to me in the kitchen was maximizing storage. Initially, the counter space was gonna end right around here because Bo and Hisako noted that you need a space to put a trash can in the kitchen. And where would that trash can go? Well, I proposed the idea of putting a trash can in here so then we could extend the upper cabinets all the way to the door and add additional storage, which was top of mind throughout this whole process of building the ADU for me. We also like to create like different ledges and places for things. Um, bringing in lots of plants up here in the corner is really nice. Um, it's kind of we have this interest in making windows that looks outside, but then also bringing some of the outside in. Beyond this wall is the private areas with the bathroom and the bedroom. I'd say this bedroom is probably 10 feet by 10 feet with a wall of closets here, but we don't have the wall going all the way to the ceiling. The closet here is a built-in closet create one place for as much storage as possible. We find that that's efficient and also makes for a really clean space. Opposite of the bedroom is the bathroom. We advise folks to not go after the lowest cost on all things. Spending a little bit of money on a few things will go a long way. The bathroom is a place that we do not like skimping on. It's these kind of like little moments that can make this kind of smaller living feel really luxurious. And so we've got a nice walk-in shower here with nook, wide sink, again, more storage. And then right over here is a, is a laundry stackable washing machine. The process can be fun. I mean, you're making something from scratch. And so bringing ideas to the table, absolutely. My favorite part about this ADU is the natural wood. Initially, this was supposed to be painted wood. I saw a picture of another project that Bo and Hisako did. It used a similar wood, and I knew that it would really make the space feel more open, natural, but also give the space a warmth that I feel like it needed, especially given that it's kind of in the backyard, in the garden. The rules on ADUs 
every year there seems to be some new ordinances and regulations that either the city or the state are developing regarding accessory dwelling units. Um, there is a desire on all parties to make these more accessible and available to the people of California. Our practice, we do a lot of work for first-time homeowners. They allow for multi-generational living, they give you options. The ADU is a chance to rethink how we live in LA and, and that's quite an opportunity.